Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Bliss and welcome to Cooking Companions Appetizer Edition. Play hide and seek with cabbage and the chompetes in this self-contained story. Who knows what mysteries you'll discover. So this is a visual novel with horror elements added into the play. Okay. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Absolutely. Please read this carefully. Absolutely. Always read the statement in front of you word by word. I hate to say it, but you really outdid yourself with that stew. The seasoning was superb. I tasted dill and something else. Did you go over herbs yourself? You'll have to share your recipe with me. I could really go for fourths. Is anyone still hungry? Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. You could hold cooking classes here. You'd be extremely successful if you forage for local produce. Was anyone listening earlier? I'll have a rest if nobody else is hungry. Gregor. Thanks for cooking again. And sorry, dishes aren't my thing. Karen? The fourth seems stuffed as they clear out the kitchen. The fourth, sorry. You look at a pile of dishes and your mind starts to wonder, should I really be doing this? Let's play hide and seek by Cabbage. That sounds much better than doing dishes. Yeah, but the dishes are more important than talking to vegetables that may or may not be a figment of our imagination. There's five of us to find. Can you find all of us? The red-haired woman should know where the basement key is. And I bet one of us is hiding down there. She's whittling something in the rocking chair right now. So watch out for that knife. Probably best to avoid the knife. Yep, absolutely essential to avoid the knife. As the leader of the Chompetes, it's critical we all escape at the same time. So please don't forget any of us. Um, these... Okay, that button doesn't work. So a quick save, then... Like to save our progression, thank you very much. So to do it from there rather than one of these buttons. Which I thought was going to be the case. So please don't forget any of us. Good luck. Thank you, Cabbage. Cabbage rolls away and tries to hide. Maybe now is a good time to speak with a red-haired woman. Uh, check out the living room. Okay. Hey, uh, what? Looks like she's just slicing away at a block of wood. Okay. For some odd reason, I thought something else was going to happen. It would be extremely horrific already. Just sorry because of the way the knife is pointing. Looks like she's just slicing away as a block of wood. Cabbage is correct. The knife looks sharp. Can I help you? Um... What are you whittling with that knife? A wooden knife. So we use a knife to make a knife. Do you want one? Um... You can whittle me anything you want. Take your time. You're pretty charming, huh? I can whittle enough weapons for an armory if you let me. You notice Karen is starting to blush a little. You're certain that Karen will remember that. Karen will remember this. Um, that'd be a waste of hands. No, I've got other plans. That sounds great. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Charming companion. I can finish knives and swords first. You can pay me back with a nibble of that... Uh, M -m 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 food. Can will definitely remember that. <laughs> I'm getting pretty hungry. Can you grab me something from downstairs? Like a cabbage. The key should be somewhere in the kitchen. Hey! We made Karen happy and we get to have our own wooden weapons. Two in one, as you wish. Come back if you get lost. We certainly will. Okay. You unlocked the Karen artwork in the extra section of a main menu. I hope she isn't a Karen when it comes to visiting stores and asking the manager. You say goodbye and head for the kitchen. Surely one of you have had to deal with at least a Karen of sorts in your life. Whether they're called Karen or they act like a Karen. Thankfully there's not too many places for a cabbage to hide. 
Places to hide for a cabbage. Hmm, probably not in the roaring oven. Where do you want to check first? I will check. I will check. I should have done this earlier with the choices, but I will check the cauldron. You hear some rustling around. Hey, we found the cabbage first. Of course, she'll be hiding the cauldron. Hey, you found me! Well done, found her! As leader of the Chompedes, you don't need to convince me. I'm coming with you. Cabbage has joined the party. What is this going to be, a, um, a turn-based strategy RPG game? <laughs> On one side we have Karen, another Cabbage! Actually, we don't know who we're playing as, as a protagonist. Four Chompedes to go! Um, what's cabbage? What's next, cabbage? We already know where the basement key is. Focus on the mission ahead. <laughs> Finding the chompedes. I heard some noise coming out of the bedroom. Maybe that's a good place to search first. Probably. Great. I'll meet you there. I'm not sure what kind of sounds these vegetables are making. Cabbage rolls down the hallway. Will she lead you to another Chompedy? Huh? Radio? What's going on with that radio? You don't even notice it on the ground when you walk in. Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks... newer than anything you've seen before. Maybe it's even time travel for all we know. Hmm... Seems to be broken. Maybe you'll pick up a signal when looking around the cabin. Better hold on to this radio. You got the strange radio. Time to see what Cabbage found in the bedroom. Check out the bedroom. There's going to be a lot of explicit material. Oh, thought you'd still be fending off that glutton Gregor right now. I found a book under one of the beds. What kind of book? Maybe it's a book that we should not see. Did you know what the cover says? I thought it was only two words long. I can't make out the title. Um, tell him what the title is. Ah, yes. Cabin cooking. Okay, thank you very much for clarifying that. We can get our heads out of the dumpster now because usually when it comes to a book hiding under someone's bed, it's usually something that should not be seen in the public eye. Terrible title. Alliteration is so childish. Speaking of cookbooks, what's for lunch tomorrow? Maybe I can forge a special ingredient for you. You tell him. Interesting. I think they'll pair nicely with wild yarrow. I'll go look for some around the cabin. Talk to you later. We're getting a lot of positives um, so far. Okay. You unlock the An Anthony Antoli profile in the extra section of the main menu? Well, Time to find onion. Onions are smaller than a cabbage, so this might be more difficult. Uh, there's a peculiar mouse hole that I've just noticed under that picture frame on the right. Middle right. Where do you want to check first? I will check... Let me just say first. I will check... Well, under the beds have already been searched because a book was found under there. So I am going to bet the floorboard. You notice a bone sticking out. Is it a human bone? Nope, chicken bone. It's a wishbone. Gross! Inside the nightstand. Hey! Here he is! He is here! Don't be a cry, baby, it's just me. Is it just because onions make people cry when cutting them, okay? You don't have to put your own puns in here, you know, onion. Onion! onion. No matter what I look like, onion, onion. I assure you I'm sweet. Boy, boy. Honest. Did uh, you sprint here? You're drenched in sweat. Could smell you coming a mile away. Gross. I don't have a nose, but if I did, would probably lose my lunch. 
You are lunch. When's the last time you had a bath, Stinky? I will never be as stinky as you, Onion. Don't answer that. Just join me in the boiling water sometime. Who on earth are we playing as? Really loosens the meat of those old bones. Got a fun factoid for you. You know what's going for... You know what's good for a sore throat? Yeah. Me, Onion. Just chop me up and mix me with... With... I'm not giving you the answer here. I'm buzzing with excitement. Uh, we're going to mix you with... <laughs> mix you with blood. Thinking water, but... Mix you with blood. I'm joking. <laughs> That's disgusting. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Uh, don't answer that. <laughs> I'll come with you, but I'm not happy about that. I know what the answer is. Water. No, it's rosemary. Okay, mustard. Ro honey. Okay, that's correct. The sulfuric compounds help soothe your throat and honey just tastes great. Of course I'll come with you. Fine then. Onion has joined the party. Glad to have you join us, Onion. No problem. There's nothing else to do today, other than tell hi play hide and seek again. Again, he's telling the truth. I heard bread making noise in the living room. You know how loud you can get. Cabbage. Yep, bread. Because we are playing I am bread, one and only. We're gonna see a slice of bread just sticking to all sorts of matter. Chompetes! Let's move out. It's like Transformers. Let's roll out. Your party is quickly expanding. Three Chompetes left. And the radio goes off again. Looks like the strange radio picked up a signal. You're not sure what the purpose of this broadcast is. Sounds very enigmatic at the same time. You were hoping the strange radio would play upbeat music or something. Oh well. No use focusing on this right now. We're going to explore the living room. Explore the living room for some bread. Gregor! I was looking everywhere for you. I already licked some of the balls clean, so no need to wash them. Wouldn't want to waste anything, right? Gregor sure is gluttonous. But he also looks like a very hard worker as well. I'm a growing guy. Growing only in one direction. <laughs> I was about to say, you're no longer a child where you grow upwards. The only way you can grow is outwards. Or inwards, which is harder. Thanks for cooking dinner for us today. Gave all of us time to work on our hobbies. Karen with her witting. And Anthony with his herbalism. Maria with her studies. We haven't gone there yet. And me? I'm just here for the food. You should, uh, double the recipe next time. Just so none of us go hungry later. Gregor, you can't speak on behalf of everyone else, okay? Terrible idea! Anyways, go to check out those beds. Sleep on the couch has been killing my back. Later! You unlocked the Gregor profile in the extra section of the main menu. The couch looks like a good bed to you. Hmm. Bread. Where do you want to check first? I would like to check the... Oh, one place. The bookshelf. It looks like it would camouflage itself. There's various books in a wide variety of topics. No time to read them now, though. Okay, I thought it would literally camouflage itself within the bookshelf inside the mouse hole. <coughs> Found me. Everyone's secret flavor, chomp, E.G. bread. Don't you loathe me? I absolutely loathe you. I loathe you to pieces. I would cut you up, loathe you. My cousin Cornbread told me that one. He has hundreds of puns. No. Thousands of terrible puns. He's my role model, oh, for goodness sakes. So, what do you need? 
Stop it! <laughs> you tell Bread about gathering the Chompedes together. That's a pretty crummy... Bread, stop! Remember what happened last time? What happened last time? With Potato? I mean, you're going against the whole crane here. I saw that one coming when you said you're going against me. <laughs> you really want to help us get out? Yeah. <laughs> I'll come with you if you pass my coloring quiz. You've always been good at cooking stuff, so this should be a piece of cake. No eyeballing measurements today. You've been exact. No dashes, shakes, or just a tajis here. Wouldn't want to ruin this recipe, right? This is a math question. Here we go. One fourth of a teaspoon is 1.25 milliliters. My special bread recipe calls for two teaspoons of salt. How many millimeters would that be? Um. What? So we've got 1.25 and 2. <laughs> Is that really an option? I don't do math. I don't do math. Mm. Really? Exactly. 4. Mm. You know what? 6. Mm. You know what? 8. Mm. You know what? 10. Fine. You know what? That's correct. Cabbage, onion, get in here. Hello. Yes, Brad? They can do math. I'm joining the group. Brad joins the group because of the fact that we can do math. Now, this doesn't really add up, but I think we're on a roll, folks. Brad has joined the party of wonderful foods. That's wonderful. Glad to have you on board, Brad. Anytime. Let's go find Raspberry. I think I heard her over by the basement door. Perfect! John Peters, Mosey out! Okay, so the only one we haven't unlocked so far when it comes to the gallery is... Anatoly. You have three John Peters in your party. Two more to find. And the radio goes off again. This sounds similar to the broadcast from before. Pretty annoying. Do these numbers mean anything? The, ma the numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Probably not. Oh well. Maybe someone knows how to repair this thing. It could be likely that the most difficult ending in the game relies on listening to these cryptic radio messages. You head to the basement door. And... Hello. Ah, I didn't see it creeping up behind me. Why is a dead bolt on this door? That's some high security for a cellar full of beets and potatoes. We don't want anyone stealing our vegetables, okay? You can, you can hold one of us hostage. You can take our cat, but don't you dare take our potatoes and beets, okay? They are our lifeblood. Or maybe it's hiding something else. Like a deep, dark secret. Okay, Mario. You shrug. Ha 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 ha. I don't care what Carrion says. You're funny. See you around. Okay. You unlocked the Mario profile in the extra section of the main menu. She's here. The birds outside turned silent. You could hear a pin drop. You can almost hear her breathing. You feel the sudden urge to scream. You can't sneak up on me. Don't even try that again. Okay, Raspberry. <laughs> Surprise! Found you, Raspberry. Raspberry! Oh, wow, it's very nice to see you. Shut up. What's there all these puns? <laughs> I can't stand the puns. We'll leave you behind, Raspberry. Honest. We need your help finding Potato. Yes, Our combined Chompidish detective skill says he's in the basement. Oh yeah? Do you have the basement key? Oh, we didn't even search. Wait, I thought Karen said that she told us about 
where the key is. No. Oh wow, bomber. It's unlocked already, so that's good news at least. Potato. I don't get why you want to find him, but I'll come with ya. Raspberry has joined the party. One more to go, very good. Even the achievements are filled with puns. We're gonna feel this concoction has started raining again outside. And now it is going to be a very, very dark scenario. Oh dear me, it's going to be very haunting indeed. You feel a knot in the pit of your stomach. It's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent down into the darkness. The sound of the sound of dripping water echoes up the staircase. Is this water from the floods? Is this our mind playing tricks on us? The walls have changed. It looks like a mixture of dirt and soot. Stop whispering in my ear! Damn, it's creepy! Something is approaching. Something is... We're gonna keep going? How dare you even justify that? You grit your teeth and keep going. We're not going back upstairs for anyone. The sound of the rain has completely stopped down here. Your vision is fading too. Maybe we should have taken a flashlight with us. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. You think you can hear something faintly. And something knocking. Someone's knocking from the top of the stairs. You ignore the distraction, but you've lost track of time down here. Your radio turns on. And someone's crying. The strange radio seems to be connecting with something from beyond. It is a radio that connects to the other world. It connects to the land of the dead. You're experiencing some serious deja vu. You decide to continue downward. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. You feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. Is there going to be a job scare? I, oh my goodness sakes, I called it! She's right in front of you. Keep searching the basement. Potato must be lurking down here. You move your hands along the wall blindly. The smell down here is revolting. Your nostrils flare with each inhale. Your eyes can make out two directions to explore. The smell seems to be coming from the room on the left. Such the room to the left. The stench is stronger in this room. Small echoes make this room feel enormous. You can't see, see the eyes, but you can feel them. You're being washed. Um, feel along the wall for a light. Get to the room center. We're not going to run. We're not scared. You feel along the wall for a light. Your hand slides across something wet and sticky. You feel something round and hard. Is it a head? Hey, oh, for goodness sakes, cabbage. Don't grab my head like that. Why are you covered in blood? Gross. You feel the gentle push of a chompedi. Let's get out of here. Great. Wow. You found four. Oh, there must be another option there somewhere. Search the room to the right. You're wandering into your demise. Trust me, it's time to turn around. You feel the gentle push of a chompedi. Let's get out of here. Okay, so that's certainly not it. Where the god 
damn sex is this potato. And we're in a different room this way. So I had to get you out of there. Why do you want us to get out of there? Let me gather my thoughts and we'll get your ranking. Our ranking? What about our ranking? Yeah, we found four of yous. Okay, search room to the left. So, was there another... I think there was another option in here. Get to the room center. You tap your foot along the ground blindly until you reach the center. I see you. I hear you. You almost trip down the stairs. It feels like this spiral staircase descends deeper underground. Go deeper into the abyss? <laughs> of course we'll go deeper into the abyss. You wind down the staircase until you reach the bottom. Your shoes stick to the floor when you touch down on the floor. <clears throat> the smell of mildew and something rotten makes you gag. I can't hear you properly. <laughs> you could barely make out the door lines of uh, lines of door frames in each direction. Door lines, what the hell? Which way should you go? We are going to obviously make a save here, and then we're going to check north. A chill blows through you. Your knees feel so cold they could snap at any moment. This area reminds you of an underground cave. Hey, you know what lives in caves? <laughs> Huge flesh-eating bears. Let's get out. We're not getting out of here, okay? Uh, south. This room feels warmer when you enter. You begin sweating more than normal. You feel like you're going to pass out. Again, with that, okay, so let's check one of the other directions. East, your hands run across a large door. It's locked. Look around for a key. You search around blindly but can't find anything. Looks like we reached a dead end. That's okay, let's go back upstairs. No, we're not going back upstairs. We are going to search west now. Your eyes have trouble adjusting once you enter. You strain your eyes to make out an outline. Who is in here? Hey! How you doing? I think something happened there. We need to go upstairs! Now! I'll go along with this, actually. But we still haven't found the fifth vegetable. Or the fifth food, sorry. I mean... Bread starts out as a vegetable, but now it's just bread. Cabbage, vegetable, onion, vegetable, raspberry fruit. You found four of us! That's pretty darn close to five. We can't move on without potato though. After everything that's happened, it just wouldn't feel right. Even if he wasn't one of the original group, we still need him here. Completely disagree. Raspberry's right. Let Potato sit in the basement. He's got company down there. That's enough. <laughs> Your ranking is A. Okay, so different choices would have mean that we would have gotten a different outcome. A is in awe inspiring. Well done. To celebrate, we made your bed. Sweet dreams. Okay. And here we are again. Are you going to cook dinner or not? You've been staring into space for a few minutes. Dinner? We're not picky. That's not true. I'll literally eat anything at this point. That's not true either. What are you cooking tonight? You tell her it's your speciality. Cabbage rolls. That sounds great. You look for your first ingredient. You take some meat out of a pantry. This meat is severely ransacked. You could smell it before the drawer was even open. Everyone's nose are sniffling. You gag as you put it down. What is this? It smells disgusting. Are you sure that's safe for human consumption? This smells familiar, Karen. 
Why would you serve that to us? Maybe it's aged perfection. Okay, Gregor. <laughs> you know I'm not uh, into meat. Are you sure, Maria? You grab your knife. You sear the meat on both sides, trying to get the edges, but filming a little. Next up is chopping the cabbage. Thanks for adding some vegetables. That's not helping much. Mario, what's with that grin for? This meat is starting to smell better. The meat was done cooking. Mmm. Maybe we've gone to some sort of cannibal route because we pursued all of the options. Everyone begins to salivate. Hurry up and finish with cabbage rolls, Karen. What the hell are you doing? You look like you have a yandere sort of trait, but for food. Who are we even playing as with these four characters? I can't wait anymore. You can see Karen's knife out of the corner of her dress. Give it to me. Now. <laughs> Karen gets ready to bury the knife into you. You wake in a cold sweat. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, this is a nightmare. Hi. You were having a nightmare. We sure were having a nightmare, but I think that's better now. Haven't seen someone thrash in their sleep like that. You must be pretty hungry after all that exploring. Want one last treat? What kind of treat are you proposing? Don't worry, I won't tell the others. I found a dead mouse in one of the cupboards, and I want you to have it. How's that for a big breakfast? You remember the old proverb, right? Appetite comes with eating. Don't worry, it gets easier after your first one. It's decaying a little, but it's still fresh enough to devour. You're going to love it. After you're finished, let me gnaw on that ear. Good fresh meat in that ear. <coughs> Is that another nightmare? Hey now, no one. Kickstarter ends 31st of October. Just search Cooking Companions. Yes, there will be a link down in the description below where you'll be able to find the Kickstarter and also where you can play this game for yourselves. Dear player, thanks for playing. If you enjoyed, please follow us on Twitter at Dear Drip. I didn't even get to read all of that. Ah, oh, and the credits. Lovely day. So, there'll be a link down in the description below where you can find both the Kickstarter and. And, 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 and the game itself, which you can find on Steam. Just search Cooking Companions on Steam, you'll be able to find it, but there'll be a link down in the description below anyways. Because it's just sort of a very nice, very, minim no, not minimalistic, but a very basic thing that you can do to help out developers of games. It's just simply to, a special thanks to Markiplier, and you... I just saw Markiplier pop up. Where was he? Maybe it's for inspirations of sorts? Dear Dream Studios. I'll have to go through that credits list again to see if there's anybody else that pops up. But literally the name Markiplier just stuck up there. <laughs> Lovely. Did you want a better ending? Um, yes, I do. Jump scare mode activated. What? What do you mean? Welcome to jump scare mode. This mode is mostly just for fun, but maybe there's something interesting at the end. You will have five seconds to make a decision. Um, excuse me? Wait, what will happen if we let five seconds transpire, huh? Don't answer incorrectly. Everything feels a little different. Hello? Did you sleep well? That's a miracle, given the storm. I have the perfect idea for a rainy day. A quiz show! Here's how it works. Get the answers correct, or something bad might happen. We'll have one question per room until we reach the basement. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. I didn't want that. I want to just override it. Okay. Good luck. Let the games begin. 
All four chompetes jump on your back. We'll be whispering the questions into your ear. So don't mess up. Potato is lurking around. But don't let that discourage you. First question. How many chompetes are there? Uh, what? Oh, cool. that one. That's correct. I had to think that one there for a second. This is where Karen was sitting. Karen's gone. Next question. What was Karen witnessing? A knife. Child's play. Let's check out the bedroom. And Karen isn't in here either. Next question. What is the species name of a house mouse? I... No idea. You have died of dysentery. That's correct! You made it so far already, with no errors whatsoever, no, 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 no. Sweaty smile. You earned a prize. A trip to the basement. And where the jump scares are. Wow. Top of the stairs already? <laughs> so, uh, 3,000 years ago, which country invented bread? How on earth would the player know this without looking on Google? Rome. Obviously not. There's nothing, there's nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you is to take years of my life. Fine then, uh, Egypt, correct, wow, on a roll today, damn it, my turn, let's keep going, yeah, let's go down into the basement, like one of the questions was okay because it's apparent to the game, but the other ones are food based knowledge questions which we don't know about unless you know them already through external research, feeling old yet, old, oh, I got a good one, how old is the earth? Billions of years. Um, 4.5. Yeah, that's correct. Give or take 50 million years. The Earth is 4.543 billion years old. That, folks, is what you call a very long amount of time. Wow, how did you know that, Raspberry? Plenty of research cabbage. Awesome! We're almost to the room. Let's keep going. Let's find bread in jump scare mode. You navigate the labyrinth of the basement. You're nearing the door. Who are we playing as still? <laughs> Almost to the room. You know, cabbage whispers in your ear. The others will never forgive you. But as leader of the Chompedes, I feel like I have to, even if everything was terrible. Sometimes a leader needs to look past that. It'd be so boring if we didn't talk to each other. Right? Does that make any sense? Probably not. That's why we brought you here again. To talk with Potato and jog that memory of yours. Yep, she's upset again. Can't blame her, though. She would have been a great addition to the Chompedes. One last question, Cabbage. One last question, Cabbage? One last question, Cabbage! What are you going to ask us? Yes. You only have three seconds to answer this one. Wouldn't want her to catch you. Last question. Where are we right now? Uh, hell. <laughs> nope, sorry. Hell is on Earth. Hell is in the basement. Hell is in that room. Hell is here. Well, hi there again. Jump scare. Jump scare. <coughs> yep. Last question. Where are we right now? Mount Ebros. Look, just everything's going to revolve around this, isn't it? Uh. Happy. Oh, wait a minute. Happy you know where you've been all these years. That's correct. It's time to talk to Potato. We'll be right outside while you work things out. Potato, potato. Hello, potato. Made it to the end. Well done. 
but playing games with the Chompedes wouldn't expect you to be so accommodating. Feeling a little guilty, eh? I know it's been a while. You probably don't remember what happened, correct? Of course you don't. Happened a long time ago. I cornered before in this basement room. You corner your s before while only being by yourself. And all of us ended up dead. Cabbage, onion, raspberry bread. They're still afraid to enter this room. Too traumatized to come to grips with it. Why do you think Cabbage wanted you to play so many games with her? She wanted you to remember what happened here. And now, and now you're talking to a potato. And obviously you're not remembering anything. Well, since you've made it this far, I feel like you've earned something. You've earned the cabbage rolls. Dig in. Hey, they do exist after all. They do exist. Sorry to interrupt you, but thank you for playing the Cooking Companions Appetizer Edition. Follow us on Twitter, Dear Dream Studio, for updates and previews. That's what I was trying to say earlier, but the cutscene allowed us to not read it, unfortunately. See you again, same time next year. Cooking Companions Appetizer Edition. Here, oh, we can go through the credits again. Lovely. Uh, what? I didn't mean to cut it out. No. <laughs> Did you want a better ending? Let me try to get another ending instead. I like your style. Trying to redo some bad decisions, huh? Yeah, yeah. See if there's anything different? Yes, I am. There probably is. But to be perfectly honest with you, I'm just here for the hide and seek. You never know where someone might be hiding this time. You should still talk to the red-haired woman first. After that, you're on your own. Bye bye. Cabbage rolls away to try and hide. She's probably right. You go check out the living room. Okay. Let's just make the opposite decisions this time around. Have you seen the basement key anywhere? Did you leave it in the kitchen? You can't remember. I haven't seen the key. So good luck with that. Maybe one of the trompetes has it in the kitchen. You decide to check out the kitchen. Thank yous. Thankfully, there's not too many places for a carriage to hide. Where do you want to check first? Uh, the cupboards. They're all empty. This must be the dishes that are piling up. Yikes. Behind the wood pile, there's nothing but cobwebs. Thankfully, no spiders. Are there any on-screen interactions? Like you hover over something and something lights up. Like, let's say, the keys, for example. I don't want to play hide and seek anymore. What are you talking about? You can't just not play hide and seek. Are you sure? Yes, no more hide and seek. Okay. I'll come with you downstairs to look for the room. Cabbage rolls down the hallway. Perfect. And the radio goes on again. Okay, it's just Cabbage this time around going down the basement. Looks like someone already unlocked the basement door for us. Don't be scared. I'll be right behind you. Gone down to the abyss. Let's turn around and leave. And also we're back up here then. You sitting down? I've played hide and seek with plenty of people. And never, never have I witnessed someone as bad as it is at you. <laughs> it's impossible not to find me. And to be honest, you probably missed out on some important stuff. Who knows what the Chompedes might have confided in you. I mean, you're... You're... You're not very good at hide and seek. You only found one Chompedy, me, Cabbage. There's no ranking below this one. You get an F. F as inferior. Yikes. You know how some days going to bed makes things better? Today is one of those days. Good night. Sweet dreams. Well, okay. Well, this looks great. Why? I can't get the taste out of my mouth. And he is inaudible. You wake in a cold sweat. You're awake even if you won't 
open your eyes. I have been forgotten about last time. We're out of food again. Let me just have a bite. Now. Of me. You wake in a cold sweat. A dream within a dream. I don't want a knife. Liar. You wouldn't have enough money even if you did. Okay, so that's good. Watch out for that knife. <laughs> you some sort of pacifist or something? We both know your way around a knife. Did you leave it in the kitchen? What? Okay. My bad, you can't remember. I haven't seen the key. Good luck with that. Thanks. Do you know where the basement key is? <laughs> of course, right in that nasty oven. There's nothing but a big pile of ashes in the oven. But we found the basement key nonetheless. There it is. So that could be the key to finding all five of them then. Cabbage? Aren't you going to wash your hands, Bo? Cabbage almost guilts you into washing your hands. Almost. That's disgusting. Let's focus on the mission ahead. <laughs> Find the chompedes. Cabbage! Cabbage! I heard some noise coming out of the bedroom. Maybe that's a good place to search first. Probably. Great. I'll meet you there. Cabbage rolls down the hallway. Will she lead you to another chompedy? And the radio snaps on again. Can't you read? Eh? Don't tell the others, but no. I need to pretend to know what my herbalist books say. You tell them the name of the book. Cooking? Cabin cooking? Sorry? Terrible title. Alliteration is so childish. Speak of cookbooks, what's for lunch tomorrow? Maybe we can forge a special ingredient for you. You tell him. Interesting. I think that will pair nicely with Wild Yarrow. I'll go look for some around the cabin. Talk to you later. Can't you read? There we go. Antony profile in the extra section of the main menu. Time to find Onion. Where do we want to check first? Inside the birdcage? There's nothing in the birdcage. Completely empty. Under the beds? You look under both of the beds. Just some dust and hair. You conclude someone must have slept in these beds at some point. Under the floorboards. Looks a little loose. You could probably try to pull it up to see under it. You're far too weak to pull it up that floorboard. Okay. Should be repaired. <laughs> you definitely can't repair this floorboard yourself, but nobody is around for miles. Floorboard. You found a small sock. Somebody's foot out there is probably cold. <laughs> the small sock is worthless. Why would you even pick it up? Okay, repetition then. Uh, Karen's hair. Split another piece of hair. It appears to be black. And Anthony? Let's see. Found a small box in the corner. This must be on your imagination. There's nothing but hair and dust down here. Better luck next time. Small box. Hmm. Another one? Okay, so there shouldn't be a repetition under that, with that. Uh, birdcage completely spotless. Did a bird even go inside? No bird droppings or anything. Birdcage again. You can tell from the outside of the cage that it's completely empty, right? Birdcage. You observe that the cage is quite large. Maybe this is a myth for birds. Birdcage again. Look a little closer. You can make out an E, but the letter to the left is scratched out. Such dedication. Okay, you look a little closer. Okay, that's the end of that one. Uh, nightstand. Here he is. What if we just go along with an incorrect answer? Unlocks Gregor's profile in the extra section of the main menu. <laughs> Mouse hole. No, under the couch. Lots of cobwebs. No, it's a child's toy. How do we just get under here? Small wooden boat. That's weird. No ports anywhere near here. Under the couch. Name engraved on it. Razzetti. That's not a dumb name. The name Razzetti has grown on you. Gross. Okay, so that's the end of that. Take a closer look at the subjects. Cooking, herbalism, skinning. Books that are good for surviving in the wilderness. The bookshelf again. Take another subject. Okay. Uh, carpentry, metalworking, tailoring. Books are good for crafting in the wilderness. Uh, take one last look at the subjects. Necroposy. Ana Necropsy. Anatomization. Burial techniques. Books are useful in their own way. 
bookshelf. Uh, that's just that. And bread. Look, I just don't do math, okay? Really? No disrespect, but you need to do math sooner or later. Like, wow. Can't believe you're, you're her hubris. Cabbage onion, can you back me up on this? Yeah, I must tell you. I've heard them say some really dumb things before. But this takes a cake. Holy cow, was that dumb. Onion, get in here and wait on this. Yeah, you're being ridiculous right now. Beyond ridiculous. The answer was 10. 10 milliliters. You don't know how to count to 10, right? Just hold up both your hands and count each finger. No, you get 8 fingers and 2 thumbs. I'm not going to even break down the math problem to explain how the answer was 10 millimeters. That'd be too complicated for you. Yeah. You're more embarrassing than potato. Very embarrassing. I'll join the group, but only because I'm worried about you. Don't make bread regret this. Fine, then he's reluctantly joined the group, but it feels pretty hollow. John Beatties, let's go find Raspberry. Maybe keep your mouth shut. Don't embarrass us in front of Raspberry. Mosey out! Let's go out, folks. You have three Chompedes in your party, two more to go. You unlock the Mario profile in the extra section of the main menu. And there it is. Pin drop. Urge to scream. Sneak up on you. Already gone for all this. Okay, so question time, obviously. Uh, yeah, here it is. Fantastic! I helped find it. Doubt that. So are you trying to find Potato? Why would you want to find him? I take it you've met the red-haired woman. Of course, Cabbage made me. Be very, very cautious around her. For goodness sakes, more puns. If you're not careful, she'll bury- SHUT UP! Yeah, I don't have any other puns or play on words. If you're ever in a jam though, just- Yeah, Raspberry Jam, I get ya. I got your back! No recruitment quiz? She seems very excited to come with you. You throw up in your mouth a little bit. It's settled, I'm coming with you. Raspberry has joined the party. One more to go. The basement's already unlocked. Let's go find Potato. Yeah, let's go find Potato, okay? Your hands run across a large door. It's locked. Ah, we can open it! You unlock the door with a basement key. You heard someone mumbling incoherently. The hair stands back up at the back of your neck. You clench one fist instinctively and get ready to strike. Yay, we found Potato at last, before the jump scare mode activated. Ah, Top Tater. Takes guts to come back here. What, you want a joke? Hmm. What did the teenage potato call the toddler potato? Tater Tot. Stole that one from Bread's cousin Cornbread. I must commend you. It must have been difficult to come back here. Your face looks blank. Have you forgotten what happened? Have you forgotten me? I take that silence as a yes. Oh well. Take me to Cabbage and let's get this over with. Potatoes join the party! Hell yeah, we'll jog that memory later. I'll be right behind you. We found all five of the Chompedes. Wow! Great job finding all of us. We unlocked a special recipe for you. Just don't burn the cabin down making it, okay? You unlocked the Natasha's Kitchen Lazy Cabbage Rolls recipe in the extra section of the main menu. Very excited to have someone solve the puzzle. Thanks for gathering them together. You come visit us again, right? Please do. Can't wait. Don't be a stranger. Chompedes? What is it now? What is it now, then? <laughs> Let's move out. But Potato is the only one left. Here. They can finally rest. Thank you for finding us and move on. Goodbye, me. I'm not going anywhere. Just us now. Let's chat again in a year, okay? Need to break the fourth wall here for a minute. Yes. Follow us on Twitter, Dear Dream Studio, for updates and sneak peeks of future titles. What's that? You wanted one last jump scare? No, I did not. 
Sorry, but you need to wait for the real Cookie Companions. Thanks for playing. Did you want to try out for another ending or end things with a comedy competition? Let's end things with a comedy competition. You got it. Wait. What? Where's the comedy competition at? I was misled. Uh. Welcome to the third annual Comedy Comedy Competition. I'm your host, as with most is Cabbage. Today we'll be hearing from a bunch of talented comedians, all aiming for the amazing title of Comedian of the Trompedies. Here's how the rules work each comedian is given two minutes to make you laugh. The Trompedy with most votes at the end wins. First up, she'll always help you out in a jam is Raspberry. Obviously, it'll be Raspberry because you said jam. Thanks, Cabbage. Well, went to the doctor last week for my annual physical, got a referral to a dermatologist to get one of my drug plates checked out. She wasn't sure if the seed was inside was fine or if it was something more serious. Dermatologist looks like it, looks at it for a few minutes, tells me to put some cream on it. What is this, a path rate? Come on, doc. Said it was very serious, so I booked the appointment. Had a lot of mixed up emotions swirling inside of me. Like a path rate. You know what a path rate is, right folks? Anyway, had a friend over to break the news to. She came over, had a shocked look on her face, told her how the news was getting me a little sad. You're one berry blue right now, <laughs> blueberry. And she was right. And even though I was worried about being squished in a surgery, at least I wasn't being squished going into a path rate. That's my time, thank you everybody. Give it up for Raspberry. Up next, he brings the fun Yunis Onion. Obviously it would be fun. Thank you. You're all too kind, seriously. Is there going to be a tear joke or a crying joke in here somewhere? My grandma was an amazing woman, but during holidays her comedy was on another level. Dice the onions. What is this, a casino? But that's the way grandmother rolled, folks. Couldn't make the whole room laugh with her comebacks. One time a family friend came over. For dinner, right? And he said to my grandmother, onions are the only food that make you cry. Outrageous, right? She threw a co coconut at him. <laughs> Got his food to go that night, folks. But seriously, nobody messed with grandmother. One time we caught her eating a can of beans and some onions. Beans and onions? Can you believe it? Grandmother, why are you eating beans and onions? She winked at us. Beans and onions. Making tear guts for the war effort right now. Great. Leave me alone, kids. My time is up. Thank you for ev thank you everyone. Have a great evening. Great, I was thinking for a cheese joke. Give it up for Onion. Making us cry with those jokes. We're throwing him some butter. Guarantee you will see him sweat. Up next, the original carb of a comedy, bread. Oh, cool, it's bread. Thank you, Cabbage. So, uh, I think this is one of Cornbread's jokes. Uh, what's a bread's favourite genre of music? Uh, do you give up? It's, um, rock and roll. <laughs> rock, roll like the bread. Get it? Tough crowd. Not very savvy on bread references. <laughs> oh, dear. I have a yeast infection. What? Thank you. Please clap for bread. Hope you've been having fun today, everyone. You're the best audience on earth. As the leader of the Trompets, I'm going to be last. Uh huh. People are always ask me, Cabbage, do you know how famous you are? They named a soup after you. <laughs> cabbage soup. Mostly water, but it gets the job done. <laughs> My sister Latias once put some vegetables and meat into her stomach. Said she was a burrito. I said lettuce, that's a wrap. Called a la la lettuce wrap for the next five years. <laughs> Love signs. You ever heard of Cole's Law? Cole's Law states any leftover cabbage must be mixed with mayonnaise. Bam, another one. Lastly, what do you call a cabbage's murderer? Slaughter. That's my set. Judges, please vote for the Chompetti with the best comedy set. Who should win? Um, I... Wait a minute, where's Potato? Potato didn't even get a joke in, for goodness sakes. 
Like honestly. Uh, potato. Thank you for voting. Let me count up the votes. We have a winner, folks. The winner of the third annual Trompeta Committee competition is... This can't be right. Potato? He didn't even participate. Come on up, Potato. Guess the audience just loved all my heckling. That must have been it. Guess the only thing left to do is roast you. And there's so much to go off of. Let's start with that rotten memory of yours. Can you remember the last meal you've had? Can you remember that much? No. That's enough. Thanks to our comedians for an unforgettable night. Let's chat later, okay? See you in another year. Don't be a stranger. Thanks again. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue to the real game or listen to the comedy show again? Let's go for the least likely candidate. Bread. Thank you for voting. It is no bread. How? Give us a speech, bread. Oh, wow. I guess this um, punchline was really good. I'd like to thank Cornbread for teaching me so many jokes. And myself for not getting stale all these years. Fresh as ever, bread. Well, that does it for the third annual Trompeter Comedy Competition. Any last words from the audience? Uh, hope to see you next year. Hey. What about... What about Rajberry? Thank you for voting. Let's count up the votes. And we have Raspberry. Always Merry Raspberry. Get up here and say a few words, Raspberry. Thank you, Cabbage. It's an honor to win the third annual competition. Okay, after so many tears have been shed here, so some laughter is sorely needed. Thanks to everyone except the judge. The views and opinions expressed by Raspberry do not reflect the official position of the John Petties. That does it for today. Thank you, comedians, for your participation. Got any last words from the audience, Raspberry? No matter how sticky it gets out there, we'll make it out of this jam. Wise words. See you next year, everyone. Let's go for Onion next. And we've got ourselves Onion. This is for your grandmother. Thank you for keeping the family together after the razors disappeared. I'm sure she would be proud, Onion, if she was still alive. Is she still alive, Onion? No, it passed away years ago. Wow. Okay. Say goodbye, Onion. Goodbye, Onion. Okay. And last but not least, Cabbage. Thank you for voting. Let's count up the votes again. And me, Cabbage. The leader is a winner. Votes were rigged. Show us the ballots. No. That does it for today. Thank you, com comedians, for your participation. See you next year. How many loopholes are within this game? Uh, going to save here, but more comedy show. Would it just be the same as it just did last time? I want to play the real game. Why do you pick that for the first time, man? I'm still the funniest Chompedy. To be honest, was worried that Raspberry and Onion sets would have crushed. They bombed. Thanks for voting for me. Anyways, let's play some hide and seek. There's a lot of... <clears throat> loopholes in this game. Yes, I want a knife. Give me five weeks. Behind schedule right now and you're wasting my time. Scram. You think Cal will remember that? Okay, well at least we unlocked her uh, artwork in the extra sections menu. A wooden knife. Yes. That'd be a waste of your talents. Wouldn't be this talented without you. Thank you for the cooking lessons. Let's cook something together. Can you grab something from the basement? The basement key should be somewhere in the kitchen. At least I think that's where you put it last. Again with the artwork. Does it do that all the time? Hmm. C cookie companion. Cameron will definitely remember that. I'm starving. Can you grab something from the basement? The key should be somewhere in the kitchen. As you wish. Come back if you get lost. Okay. Okie dokie, Karen. Still again with that. It shouldn't pop up every single time. But cut, but behind the wood pile again. Dust is pretty thick back here too. That. 
Still filthy back here. Definitely aren't clean anything up back there. Need to find cabbage. Need to find cabbage. You know, there's an engraving on the cabin wall with an X in the center. Is that treasure here? Hmm. Same again. Cupboards. Cupboards. Open it. Yep, still nothing. Cupboards again. You're way too lazy to put anything in them. Cupboards. On the last side, the letter L is engraved. Who wrote this? Razelle is definitely the one. Like, all the words are matching up to be Razelle. Rude, but why do you care? Oh, wow. Rude. She's trying to help you out. Well, not anymore. Bye bye. Raspberry goes off to hide again. Don't worry about her. Let's just find Potato. John Feedies, move out. Thank you all so much for watching, folks. This has been the demo to Cooking Companions, which is also known as the Appetizer Edition. If I was to fathom out what kind of story that is lurking about this game, I think this is some sort of necromancy slash poltergeist slash cultist kind of game where the red-haired woman Karen is kind of like the leader of this cult and the only way for us as a person to be able to survive is to continuously cook for them and to cook for them we also need to find different ingredients around the house which are in a way talking to us somehow like we're the only sure we're being spoken at by ingredients that we put in cooking so Raspberries, cabbages, bread, onions, and potato last. Why is potato last? We have no idea, but something along those lines, maybe we're completely wrong, but this has been a very, very morbid story. But I'm looking forward to seeing what the developers pull out for the full game, and also wish them the best of luck for the Kickstarter that they're currently having right now. So, thank you all so much for watching, and see you all in the next time of Cooking Companions in the future. Have a lovely day and take care of yourselves.